What's up everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the hard drive on your Asus laptop computer. This one is a Windows 10 computer. I've already got my solid state hard drive. I'll link that above here if you guys are wondering how to clone it. So it's already cloned, ready to go. This is gonna be the physical change of swapping out this hard drive. So we're gonna get straight into it. We'll flip it over and it's gonna be a series of Phillips screws all around the perimeter. So let's get those out and get this lid off. So once you get the screws out, you're gonna notice the lid still doesn't come off, but it does have some clips, so you're gonna have to gently pry it around the edge so that you can get it all up. So just work your way around. And if you got like a credit card or something that you can stick between, you're gonna have to pop it out that way. So once you separate it from one side, you can kind of work around as you can see like this. and then the lid will come off like so. So it should be fairly obvious what we're doing here. So that hard drive is gonna go right there. So it's gonna be four screws that hold the actual hard drive to the bracket. So the bracket's gonna be there. We're gonna have to transfer over this bracket. So the four screws will come out, we can take the hard drive out and then we'll transfer the bracket over to our new solid state. So now if those four screws are out, we should be able to slide this back and take it out. So there's our hard drive. And then these four screws on here, we'll take this bracket off. There's that. Put the new one in. Got our new hard drive attached to the bracket. And now we can slide this back in, click it into place and put our four screws that hold the bracket to the board. So the hard drive's all in, and before we put the backing on, we'll flip back over, make sure everything works good, and then we can uh, do a final assembly once we're ensured that everything's good to go. Okay, so computer's up, it works. I've just messed with it for a few minutes, so it's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it back over, and we'll put the lid back on it. So we'll take our lid, we'll snap it back into place. And then we can proceed to put in all our screws. And some of these screws are different lengths, so just kind of pay attention to whether it's sinking in the hole significantly. They're kind of just all a little bit different. So some of them are long. You can kind of see, because you'll see the brass uh, looking part that it screws into. So if you see it close to where the screw goes in, then it's gonna be a short one can't really see it and you see it way in there, then it's gonna be a longer screw. There's only two types of screws on this, but you'll find out pretty quickly. It's not gonna hurt you or anything, but you'll know which ones you're got in the right and wrong spots just by doing it like this. So there we go. Got all our screws in place and we'll tighten them down. All of our screws are tight. And we are done. She's back in business. All right guys, so it's back up and working. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up for me. It does help and support the channel. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button so you're notified of all the latest videos. So if you guys haven't seen the transfer of that hard drive from my traditional hard drive to my solid state, like I said, I'll link it above here or in the description below. You guys can check out that video. And I have lots of other different computer and technical related videos as well as other helpful ones. So check out the other videos on the channel. We also did the same thing with this Mac 27 inch. But thanks for watching guys and we'll see you guys on the next video.